up by this big white fur I've been working on. I'm gonna show you what the bears have been up to. Down here by the spring, for some reason, they've been doing this this time of year in the fall. This is the spring where the major creek on this property starts. They tear up this one springy spot. It was a green grassy area like the rest of this, but in recent years they've started tearing it up. It's just a mud hole now. What are they doing here? I wouldn't imagine they're doing it to get a drink. There's plenty of water in the main stream of the creek here. I wouldn't imagine they are doing this to cool off because they start doing it at the time of the year when the weather starts cooling off. Are they looking for something to eat? Could this be some kind of a way to battle fleas or some kind of a pest in their fur? Or maybe it's recreational. What else are you gonna do when you're a bear? I don't know, but maybe there's one way to find out. Put a trail camera up here, see what they're up to. This little cedar tree might be a good spot. Has a clear view of it. They've already tore this tree up. Claw marks on it. Hopefully they don't get to this camera too. The bears have attacked two more of my cameras. I haven't even shown you those ones yet. Just what I need, another gimpy trail camera. I can log into it with my phone, adjust where it's pointing. It's a little closer to it than I would like. It's not getting a very wide field of view. I'm gonna put another one in this white fir tree, get a little wider view. I'll put them up a little higher than I usually do. Try to keep them up away from the bears. Maybe they'll be less likely to tear up both of these ones too. Tie the strap up so they won't be tempted by that. We'll come back in a few days, see what these bears are up to. I'll show you what else these bears have been up to. This is the water line that comes from the main spring that feeds what was my great grandfather's old cabin. They've chewed it full of holes. It doesn't hold water anymore. This one was put in to replace it. They chewed holes in it too. This pipe was put in to replace this pipe, which they chewed holes in, which was put in to replace these pipes, which you wanna guess why they were replaced? because they chewed holes in those too. All of those were replaced by a new pipe up the hill here, which goes right through the bear wallow, which they pulled apart, which was then replaced by this pipe up here. All of these pipes were put in to replace this pipe that they chewed up and dragged up the hill into the bushes which was put in to replace this pipe, which they dragged up the hill out of the creek. What are they doing with these? They can't eat them. They don't have opposable thumbs. They can't do plumbing. They're just being ornery. This is one of the reasons why I keep saying, bears are the reason why we can't have nice things. I haven't been using this cabin much, but if I do start using it again, I might have to replace these with iron which used to be here years ago although they might just see that as a bigger challenge to who knows what they're going to do that's enough ranting about bears for today we'll come back here in a few days see what's on the cameras
It's a few days later. Let's see if we got any good footage on the cameras. Ah, oh, come on, bears. My camera's all tweaked and twisted around the tree. So typical. At least it doesn't look damaged. They pointed it in the wrong direction. I have to straighten it out again. At least this one's pointed the right way. Swap out SD cards. I'm going to try something. I'm going to take some of this incense cedar foliage, which has a strong fragrance. I'm going to rub that all over the camera. See if that will cover up any other scents on it and the strap. I don't know, worth a try. With a quick view of the footage on my phone, I don't see any wallowing. When I edit the video, I'll probably put this footage before this part of the video, so you've probably already seen it. We'll leave this a few days, see what else we get. Maybe there'll be some wallowing, whatever bear wallowing is. And they moved this pipe back down here. It was up there. Silly old bears.
It's a few days later. Let's see if we got any wallowing this time. I see they were messing with this pipe again. They dragged it down the hill even more. What are they doing with this thing? Stupid bears. They got it all twisted around the tree now, pointed in the wrong direction. What did they do? This limb is all twisted around from where it was. The whole thing's tangled up now. This branch is twisted around. It's supposed to go over there. It's muddy. The lens is all covered in mud. A dent in the motion sensor cover. Straps a little bit chewed up or just scraped up from the tree and branch drama. Otherwise it looks okay. This one over here is all tweaked. This wallow doesn't look like anything has been wallowing in it in a very long time since before I even put the cameras up. It just looks like a bare spot now, and <laughs> bare spot, a, a bald spot now because whatever's been happening here hasn't been happening here, at least ever since I put the cameras up. What we've learned here about what bears are doing when they are wallowing, we've learned absolutely nothing. But we have answered the age-old question, does a bear wallow in the woods when trail cameras are pointing at it? The obvious answer, no. But since bears are so much into trail cameras, what if we put the camera back up, cut these lower limbs out of the way, got that one set up and turned on. I don't know why I even bother aiming it. The bears are gonna knock it off course anyway. Now we'll point this camera at that camera. If they're not gonna be doing any wallowing, maybe we can at least find out what they are trying to do with these cameras. We'll come back in a few days, see what footage we get and see where they've moved this pipe to. For whatever reason, they like moving this pipe around. It's a few days later. Let's see what the bears have been up to. This pipe doesn't look like they have moved it at all. The wallow looks like it is still unwallowed. Maybe they got all the wallowing out of their system before I put the cameras up. And the cameras look like they are right where I left them. Now that I want them to attack the cameras so we can see what they are doing with them, they won't do it. That figures. I have it all figured out. I think I have the takeaway that we can get from all of this. And that is bears will do what you don't want them to do. Bears will not do what you want them to do. I think this covers all the bases. It has all the elements of a good scientific study. No doubt this will hold up to peer review. So there you have it. People always ask, so I will put the link to the... Hold on, hold on. Just as I was giving up on the bear wallows, I was walking over here to get one of my other cameras. I noticed a fresh bear wallow over here. At least it looks fresh from here. It looks even more fresh from up close. Bear tracks, freshly wallowed mud, whatever wallowing is for a bear. I'm gonna hang this trail camera up over here, put it up as high as I can reach so maybe the bears won't chew it up. I'll be going away for a while. I'm not sure when I will be back here, but when I do come back, maybe there'll be some footage of whatever a bear does in a bear wallow. People always ask, so I will put a link to these cameras in the description.